We are doing pre-calculus, topic five, A6, just because of problems from this. The directions that go with this tell us to rewrite each product as a sum difference or write each sum difference as a product. So this is a difference. We're going to write it as a product. Um, and it says use positive arguments. So we don't want to leave anything negative on the inside of this. So I have sine minus sine. So let me look at what sine minus sine is. Uh, sine minus sine is here. So sine minus sine goes to 2 cosine of the first, sine of the second. Um, and it's actually not first. It is first, second. But notice this is A plus B and this is A minus B. I'm going to have to figure out what A and B are. They're, they're masked inside these values. So 2 cosine is what I'm looking for, is what I'm going to end up with. I'm going to end up with 2 cosine of something, sine of something. Um, but notice this is A plus B, and this is A minus B. So I'm going to have to figure out what A and B are. So I know that A and B add to 3x, and I know that A minus B, uh, the difference is 11x. B is going to be negative to me. If I just add those together, I get 2A, Bs cancel, uh, 14x. So it looks like A must be 7x. And if A is 7x, B would have to be negative 4. That would get me down to 3. So B would then would be negative 4x. So then what I have so far then is a 2 times cosine of 7x sine of negative 4x. But the directions told me not to leave any negative arguments. It said use positive arguments, and that one is negative. So let me think about sine for a second. If I had sine of some angle, that would be like, here's the angle, and sine would be that height. But if I had sine of the negative version of that angle, that would give me a negative height. So that means that this is the same as negative sine of that. Those are equivalent. So this is like 2 times cosine 7x times negative sine x. So it's the same as negative 2, 2 times negative 1, um, cosine of 7x times sine of 4x.